The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his Son, only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people prefer darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that he might not be exposed. And whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. The Easter Vigil begins with a great fire and the illumination of the Paschal candle. It's an announcement of darkness being overcome by the light of Christ. St. John reminds us of this in today's Gospel that the light came into the world, but, he says, people prefer darkness. And the darkness can imprison us in the same way as the apostles were imprisoned in jail for proclaiming the gospel that darkness restricts us from coming into the light of Christ so that the gospel can set us free and bring light into our own lives. That darkness might be shame. That darkness might be guilt. That darkness could be anger or resentment. That darkness could be fear. These things can be very embarrassing when they're brought into the light. And so, even though we've just passed Easter, the sacrament of reconciliation can be a great place to bring light in a discreet and a private way so that Christ can penetrate this darkness with his light and set us free. We have confessions here on Wednesday evenings at 5 o'clock till 6.30. And every Saturday at 2.30 till just before the 4 o'clock Mass. You're most welcome to come into the light. Regina, Jenny, let us... 